Gentlemen, right here from Amarillo, Texas, that is Moose Morowski. Moose Morowski, 270 pounds, up against his opponent from Des Moines, Iowa, 221-pound Mike Kovac. Mike Kovac. Have a situation here where Moose Morowski, of course, the Canadian heavyweight champion, up against this guy, Mike Kovac. Kovac in his first year of professional wrestling. So, of course, there's quite an experience lag here between Kovac and Morowski. Now, this guy, Morowski, is one top customer and one of the members of Master Sergeant Tomko's army. And speaking of Master Sergeant Tomko, he happens to be down in our broadcast position right now, and I can never stop him from talking. So, uh, be Ed, my guest, Al. Ed, I want to say this and ask you a question besides. You heard John Windsor, the, a the NWA rep, saying that I can no longer wear a uniform. I didn't hear him say I that. was proud of. I don't know where he gets to be able to make rules and tell me what I can wear, what I can't wear. Also, you saw that he took the titles away from us. You also saw or heard that he suspended me for one match. That's correct. Well, I'm suspended for the next match, but not barred for me. I'm going to be there. But I want to ask, I want you people out there who are listening to me talk, I'm asking you, do you think it is fair you think it is fair for that man to do what he has done to me, suspending me, stripping up the title? Ed, I don't believe that he has the power to do that. And I want people to write in letters to me to get on my side and tell me that I am right. And so I can take these letters to the NWA and get the titles back. Well, I appreciate you coming down to our broadcast location, Master Sergeant Tom Cohen. I'll be honest with you, I really don't know whether he, in fact, has the power to do that. I plan on looking into it because uh, certainly he has made, uh, made himself, if you like, all-powerful. I'll tell you what, Ed, I'll bet you a steak dinner that the people out there, you people listening to my voice, will agree with me that I should still be the champion. I wonder, uh, Master Sergeant Tom Cohen, I'd like to take that bet. Let's see what kind of letters we do get. All right, I made a bet with a man named John Poser, and I lost to him. But I don't think I'll lose to you because I think you're going to have to buy me a steak dinner. Now, let me, let me get this straight, Master Sergeant Tomko. You are saying to me that if the letters come in and most of the fans say that they would like to see you reinstated right. as the champion, right. and I am saying that most of the letters will come in and will support the position of the commissioner and the uh, special right. representative of the NWA, Mr. Windsor. If they support me, you buy me a steak dinner right here on TV. That sounds like a fair deal. And if deal. I lose, I'll buy you a steak dinner. I think, uh, well, Master Sergeant Tom Cole, let's there. see what happens. That's a, that's a good, let's just see what does come out of that. Thank you very much. And, of course, I can tell you people that are watching right now on All-Star Run, I don't want to buy Master Sergeant Tom Cole a steak dinner. So I must say that I don't too sure that our special representative of the NWA really has the power but I will really like to see what your response to that is going to be. And you can drop a line to All-Star Wrestling at Post Office Box 8888, Vancouver, B.C. And drop a line to myself or drop a line to Master Sergeant Tomko and tell us what you think. Do you really think that he should, in fact, be suspended? Or does Mr. Windsor overstep his authority? Personally, I don't know whether Mr. Windsor oversteps his authority or not, but I kind of hope that uh, you're going to support the position of the new commissioner because I don't want to buy Master Sergeant Tom Coe steak dinner. I really don't. We've got quite a match going here between Morowski and Mike Kovac. And you can really see why Morowski is the Canadian heavyweight champion because this guy Kovac is in his first year and he has taken a lot of abuse. And right now, Jack Bench, who is our referee for this match, Jack Bench, a formidable competitor himself in his day, and uh, certainly has held a lot of belts himself. He is actually criticizing Moose Morowski at this point for Morowski's, if you like, adverse wrestling. He is really pouring the pressure on this guy, Kovacs. And I can tell you, you can take a good look at this guy, Kovacs' body, if you get an opportunity. He is bruised everywhere, just everywhere. What do you got against me? And you can see Moose Morowski not very happy about some of the comments that Jack Bench is making to him, our referee. Moose Morowski, of course, a big, powerful man at six foot four. 
and years and years and years of experience as he flips off White Kovacs. As we said, Kovacs in his first year. We'd like to say and pass along a special hello to Leanne and the staff and nurses all at Sunny Hill Hospital. Who I know are great fans of All-Star Wrestling. There's a good look at the bruises that we're talking about on this guy, Kovacs. Sitting alongside my broadcast position at this point is the special representative of the NWA, Mr. John Windsor. I don't know, Mr. Windsor, whether you heard the comments of uh, Master Sergeant Al Tomko a little earlier. Yeah. Master Sergeant Tomko feels that you are overstepping the boundaries of your position as a special representative of the NWA. Now, I don't know whether you are or aren't, but I think you should know that Master Sergeant Tomko and I have a little bet going, and it's for a state dinner. I am betting that your powers are valid and that you have the right to do what you've done. And I am betting that the fans will agree. Master Sergeant Tomko says that the fans are going to say that you are totally incorrect, that you do not have the power to do that, and that he should be reinstated with his belt. Well, I don't think Mr. Tomko realizes what he's saying. I would like to make a bet that the fans agree with what I'm doing. Well, I, I certainly have betting in your position. I hope I'm right, because the last guy in the world I want to buy a steak dinner for is Master Sergeant Tompkins. Right. If he can bend the rules like he's been doing, I most certainly can use my authority to stop it. Speaking of authority, uh, you, of course, are sitting in our broadcast location, and uh, our referee, Jack Bench, is giving a lot of heat here to Moose Murawski. Uh, he says Moose Murawski is being overly vicious in this particular match against Mike Kovac. Uh, an opinion? Yes, Jack Benz is doing a wonderful job. That's why we brought him in specially. Certainly, uh, this guy Kovac is taking a lot of abuse. He's a good young wrestler. you got to get in the ring with a guy like Moose Murawski. Let me tell you, you got to be awfully brave. Moose is a pretty hard man. Look at this guy Murawski. Just pick him up and throw him down. Actually, you probably saw Kovacs was trying to put a headlock on Murawski. And Murawski just picked him up and threw him down. Yeah, he's a strong man, Murawski. A lot of power. That's it. There's the count, the three count. 